SportsTissueBox.com. SportsTissueBox.com. Get your SportsTissueBox.com. Football season is here, and what better way to commemorate the season is grab your Sports Tissue Box now at SportsTissueBoxes.com. Whether you're celebrating the thrill of victory or agony defeat, Sports Tissue Boxes are there for both young and old. Grab your Sports Tissue Box now at SportsTissueBoxes.com. Call them, baby, the Mets are here. Right here, for you. Regain your financial freedom by grabbing the book, Ten Commandments of Black Economic Power, an Amazon bestseller written by none other than Dr. Boyce Watkins grabbed the book now. Also, Heating Up Summer 2023, B1 the Movie, starring Dr. Claude Anderson, Madam President, and Riza Islam. Atlanta, Georgia, get ready. The All-Black National Convention is coming your way October 2023. We had the privilege of attending an All-Black National Convention. It was an absolutely life-changing experience. To get a free Dr. Boyce Watkins Black Business School training on how to make money without working, text the word STOCK to 31996. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man, Sam. And here at Viral Hip Hop News, do me a favor. Hit that like button, smash that notification bell, and subscribe to the brand. Viral Hip Hop News. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Let's get to work. All right. Stephen A. Smith has been making his podcast rounds as of late. And one of the questions that continue to come up is what happened between him and Max Kellerman on first take. They had a nice little run together on first take right after Skip moved to Fox. Max came in and they had a, a very strong couple of years. A lot of us liked the dynamic between Max and Stephen A. But a couple of years ago, maybe about a solid year ago now, that came to an end. And a lot of people were wondering why. A lot of people kind of made the speculation as if Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman didn't really get along. And if you listen to some of what Stephen A. Smith says, some of his reactions when a lot of his colleagues were fired from ESPN and went to other positions on other networks. He went out of his way to shout those people out, but did not go out of his way to talk about his former co-host, who was also let go from ESPN, one Max Kellerman. So as he's doing interviews, I believe he was on the Joe Button podcast a couple of days ago, and the question came up, and he talked about why him and Max didn't work out, said it was no ill feelings, it was nothing personal. He wanted to be the number one ranked show, and with him and Max, they weren't number one at the end of the day. He wanted to be number one, so he changed so he could be number one. That was his argument. That was his spill. That's what he went with. He's been saying it for years. Well, on Twitter, a lot of people have been having fun with Stephen A. Smith, and one of the people said the reason why Stephen A. Smith does not want Max on there is from what Terrell Owens said a couple of years ago on the show in relation to the commentary going on between Colin Kaepernick, the NFL, and these two being Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman. Terrell Owens said Max Kellerman may be acting a little more black than Stephen A. Stephen A. Smith didn't like that. And this is where this whole thing started. I'm going to play that clip, that small audio of what Terrell Owens said, and then we're going to go into their Twitter beef that went on today. Let's go. I'm in the streets. Max almost seems blacker than you, Stephen A. <laughs> with 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 what Tom he out. with with he's Tom coming, Tom you know, with this commentary. Tom, 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 with all due respect, my brother. You <laughs> I'm just you, saying, Tom, dog. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm just a, saying. I'm gonna check you right now. You don't cross I'm the line. I'm just saying. Tom, 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 Wait a minute. You don't cross the line. <laughs> I'm in the streets. All right, so Terrell Owens responded to that clip of the video stating facts. And here we go. Stephen A responded to Terrell Owens by saying this. Now, as for this dude, that's an entirely different story. Now, he was talking about his relationship with Max, said it was nothing personal. And then he went on to Terrell Owens saying, nah, as far as him, different story. He said, you know how I feel about your sorry ass Terrell Owens, and you know why. You should thank your heavenly father. I haven't zeroed in on you with the trifling shit you tried to pull. Tell folks to ask ESPN what your desperate ass tried to pull. Keep on talking. Eventually, you'll expose yourself. Now, Terrell Owens did not back down. He jumped right back on his Twitter account, X account, whatever you want to call it, and he said this. Now, Stephen A., ask me if I'm scared. I thank God every day, or at least I try to, but you do what you do best. I'm not worried. You don't have to make some bold attempt to try to quote-unquote expose me because I have nothing to hide. You're mad because of the advice of my attorney after we filed against ESPN because on air without my consent, you shared our text conversation. I'm not sure that constitutes as desperate, but enlighten us all. So, my boy, hone in on me. I'm good. I'm blessed and God got me. You're still salty about the interview I did with you and Max a few years back, and I said what I said, 
And today, I'm still hashtag Team Max. Got that man fired. That's messed up. You saw me in Colorado. You should have told me about my sorry ass then. Stephen A. also did not back down. He said this. Or maybe I'll just dedicate the entire Stephen A. Smith Show podcast on YouTube this Monday to all things you tried to do behind the scenes to brothers over the years while claiming someone is more of a brother than others. Let me think about that over the next 24 hours. Hashtag sick of this. Hashtag enough. And Tara Owens said this. Behind what scenes? Again, man, I'm not worried because I stand on my character and who I am. You better come with some facts and not this hearsay and anonymous sources because that's not gonna fly. Now, Kyrie Irvin of all people stepped in, surprisingly, and had something to say. He said this. He said, can y'all call each other like grown, mature men and clear the air without all this extra social media back and forth? Stephen, they responded by saying this respectfully, bro. You don't know the whole story. I have nothing to say to his sorry, pathetic ass. But that doesn't mean you're wrong. You're right, bro. I'm man enough to admit that. I will stand down. Respect. Now, Terrell Owens was not done. Let me see what he had to say. Because he had something to say in response to that as well. He said, don't stand down. I'll be sorry and pathetic. Be sure to keep that same energy when you see me next time. You see, I'm not intimidated by you because you have a platform and a loud mouth to claim that, you, that you're that you going to allegedly expose me about something. It seems to me that you're one of the biggest being exposed. Please expose me. Let us know what you got. I, along with everyone else, will be waiting. I don't bother nobody. I'm just me. And if you don't like me, that's a personal problem. Now, y'all leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think of this situation. I know a lot of y'all are anti Stephen A because of the things, some of the things he's done on the airways in particular to our culture or how y'all feel that he's done. But I have a lot of respect for Stephen A. Smith, a lot of respect for what he's done over the years as a columnist, as somebody on air. I do also share some of them grievances and some of those um, disappointments, and I disagree with some of the things he's done over the years. But all in all, as a whole, his entire body of work I'm not going to throw away because of some on-air situations that I don't agree with. I think us as a culture, we are too quick to throw somebody out. But that being said, what do y'all think about the situation between Terrell Owens and Stephen A. Smith? Do y'all want to hear more? Do y'all care? Is this something intriguing to y'all? Let me know in the comment section below. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Sam and Seattle the brand, Viral Hip Hop News. Like, comment, and if you deem this video worthy enough for share on your social media platforms or wherever you dive into your content. I appreciate it if you did so right now. But until next time, until next story, Sam and CEO of the brand Viral Hip Hop News. Love each and every one of y'all. Love yourselves. And I'm out of here, man. Peace.